Hello, good day. This is Damien at Fixwin PC, and today we have the Zimodo Wireless HD, I guess, camera. <laughs> Alright, uh, this offering from Zimodo. I uh, just picked this up today. Let's see, I would play around with it. Um, it's very really used to kind of monitor you know, anything I choose around the house, so I'm just going to set it up. But first, I just want to do a little unboxing. So, yeah, let's um, begin. So, let's check out the back first. Nice little package, nice little box. New Mimsy model. And it tells you a bunch of, you know, just the features and some specs. You know, it gives you a diagram to tell you what each part is, what it's for. And, you know, it tells you what kind of audio, the power, the measurements, the size, the video compression, you know, 720p camera. And I tell you what kind of Wi Fi standard it uses and the system compatibility Android, iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and also, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so it, it basically just gives you an overview of the, the product itself. So, yeah, let's uh, start with the unboxing. Yeah, right, so we take off the cover, see what's inside. Yeah. So, we have this. Uh, quick start guide. This gives us everything we need to get ourselves up and running, including mounting instructions. You know. All right, and here we have the camera itself. Let's see what else we have? We have screws, mounting base for the like, S wall or ceiling mount. And power cable. Let's take this out of plastic. I'll probably charge my Android. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the model. Nice, nice little touch. And that's it for that. Now we have the camera itself. Just looks smaller in the pictures, okay. Alright, so here we have the camera. Yeah, light. Yeah, good to put up on a wall somewhere, put the stand up. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Yeah, so I guess this is where you can adjust I don't know, angle of view. So you adjust that in the back here. How tight or how slack you want it. Right, so yeah, speakers there and just the sides. You can pretty much mount this on the wall using this conjunction. This put this in here, snap it in. After you put this up, put this on, snap it in, and then you pretty much angle it where it needs to be and tilt it. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, see, there's a little cup thing, I don't know what this is for. Oh, it's a cap for the screw, it fell out. Yeah, so I guess when you're done, you could just really get it nice and tight with the screws. Nice. So, yeah, that's it pretty much. So, yeah, after this, is just to plug in, join the Wi Fi, and pretty much get it configured. So, I'll see you on that side. Hello again. Right, so as we proceed to set up this uh, Dizimodo HD Wi-Fi camera, right, I'm going to show you how to install it on an Android device and hook up. All right, this is not the initial install. However, if you want to know how to do initial install from scratch, uh, you have to go to zimodo.com slash support and there's some documentation there or just read the documentation that came with the device, the little blue book, and it'll give you a step-by-step -step guide. What's happening? Why well, I won't do it because uh, the Android phone that I'm using apparently there's a bug in the Android app that uh, makes it pretty difficult. Or maybe it's just the model of the phone or the version. I'm using an LG um, L9, I believe. Yeah, it's a pretty old phone, but um, yeah, I just have it around. Actually, it's my wife's phone, so yeah. 
I'm just demonstrating how it could work. I would demonstrate on the iPhone because of the iPhone. Um, you get amazing results. It happens the first time how it's supposed to happen with this device. It's, it's, it's pretty much impossible to do the initial setup via this device. Um, maybe I'm just having a difficult time. Anybody could give me pointers, leave comments, and let me know what I was doing wrong or what I could have been doing wrong. Uh, and it'll work out for everyone who probably wants to try this. You know. Yeah, because with the Apple, there was no problem. The Android, there was a problem. Alright, so um, yeah, let's begin this process. So I'll get into the um, Android phone. The first thing you'll have to do, obviously, you have to download the Zimoto app from the Play Store. And once you have it installed, you go into the app. What you'll have to do is sign up with either your mobile number or email address for an account. It's free. You don't have to pay any money for it. So you put in an email address, you put in a password, you submit, they say, yeah, you're successfully registered, and then you go back to login. And then you log in with whatever you used. And when you log in, you put in your email and then you put in your password. You probably change it or blank that piece out. Yeah, so you see, you want to hook up, you just enter your account because I already have this hooked up on the iPhone. So when I log in, it'll just automatically attach, which is much better than what I was, the hell I was going through trying to do the initial setup from scratch. Probably did like 10 takes trying to get that right and just with hand at one point. So yeah, so yeah, so this is uh, what you get basically. And um, you can, um, yeah, these are different features you can use on the phone here. I only have one device, so I can't show what it looks like with multiple devices. But I guess you'd have different screens going along here. So, yeah, so you can listen to the audio in the area, you know, speak and listen. So you get feedback, you know, you get, oh, oh, I'm not getting feedback yet, but I'm able to speak. And then I receive a little communication. So you can have a little two way conversation going on. You know, I, I used it today to speak to you know, one of the kids. Like, you know, I was like, hey, go do your homework. And they're like, okay, daddy. And then I'm watching the video and they're playing video games. So, what do you expect? Yeah, so. You can also get the HD version of whatever you're doing. You know. And yeah, you can share. That's the same when you signed in via phone number, shared via email. So friends could sign in. I don't know why you want your friends looking in at, at your house, but I guess probably somebody else in your house or, you know, a friend you might want to keep an eye on your house inside while you're away from the country, along with you. You know, you can't be up all the time. And this is to enlarge the screen. Did I get the phone? Oh, excuse me. It's late, yeah. So you get the full view. Apologies for that one. You get the full view here. So you see, you get a really wide view from end to end. This is 115 degrees, 115. And it truly is because this camera is not even placed at the end of the room too much. It's more like in the middle of this side of the room right here. And it's getting all the way from this end to that end, which is pretty amazing in my books. Yeah, so it's pretty simple to set up, pretty straightforward. You could take a snapshot, you could make a recording manually. And this basically all saves to the cloud because when you get alerts, like I have a little alert icon here, you can go into alerts and look up and see what was detected and what time it was detected and, and, and all of that. So I guess I'll have to set the time on this. Hmm. It's quite interesting. I guess I'll have to set the time on this. What's the IP address for this device? I think I heard it, but I reset it, so I might really have to set the time on this. Yeah. Alright, that's something I'll figure out afterwards. Um, yeah, so this has pretty much been... Um, yeah, these these are... I guess this is pretty straightforward if you have any events, uh, people, you know. If you have a list of people who's looking at the camera, you can have them here, like a contact list. And this discovery, um, yeah, this discovery is for them. discovering stuff, I guess. So you can check that out if you want. And you can log out here, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, whoa, what is that? 
Yeah. Right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward uh, advice if you have probably just my phone, not LG, the Android that, that I can all buggy. But hey, it is what it is. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward to use. I would recommend this for anybody who have any particular focal point indoors. It's great, uh, it's discreet, um, the resolution is awesome, and the, the angle is great. You will get the entire room. Unless it's a warehouse, you will get the entire room. I believe that you just need one in a room. You don't need two or three, just one. You will get the entire room at crystal clarity. Um, it's just all around good. So yeah, this has been another um, video from Fixwin PC. My name is Damien. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy, hit the dislike button. If you want more videos, you can subscribe and you can always leave comments because the help feedback is great. It help me improve to make better content for you to consume. All right, so signing off and have a good night.